So let's look at the scientific concept of abiogenesis. This is a mainstream scientific word that uh, really goes back to the spontaneous generation of life, life from a rock. Where did first organic life come from on our prebiotic earth? And the notion here is that you at one point had to have first, quote, simple life uh, come out of, of a rock, out of an inorganic world. And uh, I get this from a mainstream scientific site, which is the, the, the main problem with abiogenesis is, is a chicken and the egg problem. And this is the notion of DNA, information, code, versus proteins, the structures that make up the cellular life on our planet. You had to have both of them here at the same time. I'll, I'll quote this from a mainstream scientific source. DNA depends heavily on proteins for functioning, yet proteins rely on DNA for correct sequencing. Proteins cannot arise apart from DNA, yet DNA requires proteins in order to function. There you go, the perfect chicken and the egg scenario. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Which came first, DNA, information, or the proteins, the structures that make up the organic world? And it's a huge problem in now what we know about genetics, what we now know about the complexity of DNA, the blueprints, right? The genetic blueprints that make up organic life. It's also a huge issue because the proteins, they, you know, you're taking amino acids and they have to be folded into these three-dimensional structures that become proteins that become all cellular life. In a human being, that's the, whether those proteins turn into cells that are our skin cells or hair cells or bone cells or lung cells, etc. It's a huge issue, both of which are very complex, meaning both DNA and the proteins. Well, in recent uh, years, this notion has come out that, that there is no chicken and the egg problem because there is a new RNA world hypothesis here, which says, yes, there is the storehouse of genetic information, DNA, which is super complex. And yes, there are these protein structures that make up the organic cell that are super complex. But RNA, which is a little bit more simple, is kind of an intermediary, and that's what popped out of the primordial goop originally. The notion with RNA, messenger RNA, is it's like a copy of the blueprints that come out of the genetic storehouse, the DNA. And that's a lot more simple. It's a, it's a much more short strand. And that could have been the beginning of our primordial uh, earth going from a rock to organic life. Well, it's tossed out there as the solution and it's left there hanging. And everybody now says that any of us who say the complexity of DNA is a non-starter for organic life or the complexity of the protein structures that make up the cellular world is a non-starter for the abiogenic uh, origin of life. They just toss out this RNA world hypothesis and say, it's done, it's over, we have solved the issue. Look into it for yourself. You haven't solved any, anything. RNA is super complex, even in its more simple messenger structure. Secondarily, it, it breaks down so quickly outside of the cellular world. It, to have it floating around in some prebiotic goop on planet Earth and that was going to somehow stay together until all of these interactions and all this first life came together is ludicrous in what we now know about RNA and how easily it breaks down in, in a world outside the protective environment of the cellular structure. So again, just because a few scientists on YouTube say we've solved the problem of abiogenesis, life from a rock, it's this new RNA world hypothesis. We don't have to deal with the paradox of, of DNA versus proteins, the chicken and the egg problem. We've somehow put this to, to rest. Look into it, to your, into it for yourself because we have not put anything to rest. If anything, we now know how amazing first life had to be, how amazing even the most primitive organic life had to be to come out of a rock, out of nowhere, all of a sudden, on a, on a, a spontaneous generation basis, or, or the new word, an abiogenesis theory of life coming from a rock.